how to take out the background in a photo in paint.net and I have a picture of a flower here and let's say you just want the flower uh, maybe you put it on top of something else uh, put a design behind it or something but you want to take the background out um, paint.net is a good program for this uh, it's free uh, and has a lot of good tools uh, the first thing you'd want to do is go to tools and select the magic wand if you see up here you have a tolerance bar and it's set for 50 percent when you select it by default and that just means uh, the different levels of how close the colors around it will choose if we keep it at 50 percent let's just click to show you this it's gonna select a lot 50 percent is pretty high um, depending on what you want to do you would uh, want that at different levels. I would say around depends on the picture. Let's try it in the 30s, 31. Uh, now if we click we would see we're selecting a smaller area and we can hit the delete key. So that's all you do. We just keep clicking finding areas and you want to make sure that let's just crank this up to show you again and click a lighter area um, takes a while. See, we're getting into the flower there, so that's what you have to watch with your levels. And all you do is keep clicking and hitting the delete key after you've selected, and it's taken out the background. Um, you would use this, get around the edges of the area you want. Uh, that's getting into the flower. Um, let's bring the level down. And after you have taken out everything directly surrounding what you want, what we can do is switch to the eraser tool. If we click up here, see where it says 2, that's your brush, brush width and I'm scrolling on the mouse wheel now and you see my eraser is bigger now we can click and all these areas that are not touching the flower we can just click and take them right on out of there uh, just like this and that is all you would need to do to take the background out of this image and I'll come back in a second and I will show you a finished image and tell you how you can save this so that you can actually have a transparent background. Okay, now we have finished removing the background here from this flower and as you can see, you can see the grid behind it. That's the default background in paint.net and that's showing that this is transparent the background on this flower. So we could actually lay this on top of another image and you'd see the other image behind this flower. Um, we want to save this as a file format that will keep that transparency. If we save this as a JPEG, um, all of that cleaning up that you did in the background would be gone because it would just be white. So we want File, Save As, and save as type, see here, we would choose PNG. That's uh, a file format that will keep the transparency. So just type in your file name. Let me save it on my desktop. And save. And you'll get this screen. Just let it go to auto detect. Hit OK. And that is it. That is how you remove the background and have a transparent background image uh, for your picture. And thanks for watching.